So right here we have the actual lifter. And this goes down in the engine, this side first. This side has the, the roller on it. Okay. And that roller is held in by essentially a uh, tightly fit rod that goes on both sides. That rod is held in place by what are essentially O-rings. I'm sorry, not O-rings, but um, uh, snap rings, so to speak. So if either one of these snap rings holding that rod in fails and that that piston, that rod, that trunnion starts to push out that way or this way toward my toward my index finger. Now it is outside the circumference of the lifter. The lifter actually moves up and down with the cam lobe. And it goes into the cylinder or the lifter bore. If this little thing is sticking out just a little bit and it tries to be pushed up by the cam lobe so that the valve that it controls opens, well guess what's going to happen to the metal on the skirt of the lifter bore? Well, it's going to look exactly like that. And that is what happened. I took this picture with an endoscope. Now I think what I have to do here is file this stuff away, these high ridges, down smooth. Okay. I don't think it matters too much that these are these cylinder walls, these uh, lifter bore walls are perfect, perfect and smooth. This is where the oil comes, right here. And there's one on the other side, over here. So the oil flows, and oil gets into the lifter through, where is it, through that little oil hole there. But I think I just got to get these high ridges off, like right there, right there, and right here. Now I can use a honing tool, but I think I might have to just file these off. <laughs> and I think I can get away with that. Right now when I try to push the lifter in, it won't go down all the way into the hole. And the reason is because it's such a tight fit that these little ridges caused by this pin sticking out a little bit as it came up, you know, has caused the metal to come up a little bit, reducing the circumference. Just, I mean, we're talking, I don't know, 10, uh, maybe a hundredth, who knows. But as long as I can get this to sit in there nicely and smoothly, I think we can almost consider these better oiling passages. More oil will go through here and get onto the camshaft, which is not a bad thing. I do have a high volume, high pressure pump now installed, so I think we can make up for the fact that this is going to let more oil through without too much ill effect. We'll find out. I mean, the worst case is we have to send the block to the machine shop so that they can re-hone the lifter bores. And that we're talking, I mean, to take the engine out, take it apart, get it fixed into a machine shop, uh, it might be a thousand bucks. I mean, the block itself is 2100, maybe 17. So that's very disappointing. And that's where I'm at. Let's go back to a video real quick. So here I am coming down into the block. This is on the driver's side. And we're gonna be going into this uh, lifter bore that is the third one from the rear of the engine on the driver's side and the, and the mark you'll see is going to be on the left hand side the shiny part that you see right there toward the lower right that's the camshaft 
there we are on the left hand side right there it comes into view a little bit better here you see that little half moon circle on the left hand side that is the damage caused by the failed lifter uh, call it the wrist pin so to speak of the lifter roller I'm fortunate the camshaft, brand new, uh, does not appear to be damaged yet. Who knows, a couple more revolutions, it would have been extremely damaged. But there we go, on the left hand side there, in the middle of the screen, half moon cylinder. That is the damage caused. Nothing on the right side. Interesting stuff, huh? There we go.